Hey guys, welcome back. As always, if you're new to our channel and watching this video for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to your YouTube channel. It's not difficult to find us. Just type QA script on the YouTube search bar and you will land on our QA script YouTube channel page. Just hit the subscribe button. And the next time I post a new video on any topic, you will be automatically notified. So beginning uh, before we jump on to the postman tool right so since this course is all about api testing with postman it's worthwhile to have a look at what is api testing right so i'll be covering these topics in this video uh, like what is api testing what are the common api test cases uh, which you can think of uh, what are the different api testing tools right so We'll see a comparison of Postman, SOAP UI, and Catalon. These are the three most popular um, API testing tools in the market. So let's have a look at uh, API testing, right? So uh, in simple terms, like, like any other type of testing, this testing covers or validates the APIs, right? Now it checks different uh things like the functionality reliability performance security of different apis or programming interfaces right now if you know uh, or have looked at the software architecture of any application right there are different uh, layers of uh, architecture right so there is the ui layer there is the presentation layer there is uh, the backend layer and there there's the business logic layer right so this is where the API concentrates or the API testing concentrates on. It concentrates on the business logic layer, right? Not on the UI part of the testing. So the obvious benefits which comes out of API testing is you can test early in your life development lifecycle because even if uh, the APIs are not developed completely or are not deployed on a particular environment, like you can actually mock the APIs, uh, you can test the APIs if they are ready in a dev server or anywhere, right? So it doesn't require a UI to be built or any front end application to be completed before you can test it. You can actually test those APIs without any uh, front end application, right? Now, it is easier to maintain, right? Because there are not lots of uh, thousands and thousands of lines of scripts which you need to write for API testing. So it's obviously easier to maintain the fastest execution. Uh, so it's quite obvious because it doesn't involve any ui it is um, much much faster than the ui automation testing right so api testing is much faster when compared to um, any ui automation because it doesn't involve any ui now it provides you with greater coverage because it covers the business logic layer it has access to the different layers of or different parts of the application right so the coverage is more when compared to your ui because ui uh, will be touching only certain parts of your uh, application code but the api or the business the api will have a better coverage because it will be touching almost all parts of your application code right so you'll have a better coverage when you go with api testing now some of the common api test cases so i have listed down some examples so that you can understand what could be a potential api test case right so status so this is the most common api test case uh, whenever you work with api testing you check the status of the response which you are receiving from the server right so it could be a 404 like sub um, server not found or it could be a success status right so that means the api request and response was successful so this is a basic kind of test which you can do on an api right the performance right so uh, within what time this response came back from the server right so what was the performance of that complete request and response um, api right so when we work with lots of APIs and we do lots of iterations, we can actually check the performance, right? So when there is a load on the server, how it is responding, how, 
how much time it is taking to respond. So that actually decides the performance of the application. Then uh, the syntax, the correct type, uh, the content type is correct, right? So which was expected from the server. Um, and there could be a lot of other syntax which you can verify, right? Then error handling. So if the server rejects any input, then whether it was expected or not expected. So those kind of error handling you can do. Uh, error detection, so negative testing uh, you can perform, right? So to identify exceptions and race conditions, right? So you can um, send some incorrect uh, API information to the server and you can check whether it is generating the expected exceptions, right? Um, the schema validation, so if the ex the response is coming back on an expected structure or format right so whether it is following the expected schema so that you can check as an api test case now functional the server returns a predictable value based on the input condition right so whatever input conditions you have provided in your request the response has the predictable values Right, so this is the functional test cases. Now you'll have lots of other functional test cases in the APIs. Now you can also do some security checks, like um, SQL injections do not result in data leakage, right, and a number of other security checks which you can perform through the APIs. So as you can see, uh, it has got a lot of coverage. Um, it spans to different. Um, types of uh, testing like functional security, performance, uh, error handling, schema, status, right? So there are so many scenarios which you can build using the API test cases, right? So um, the next thing is uh, API testing tools, right? So what are the tools available in market through which you can test your APIs? So since this course um, is based on Postman, and Postman is a quite uh, popular API, API testing tool, which is evolving very rapidly. So it is used for both development and testing, um, and it provides a uh, lots of features so that you can easily test your APIs, right? You can easily also integrate with CI CD pipeline like Jenkins and make it makes it easy to create, share, test and document APIs, right? So it has got all these features. Coming to the uh, next next tool, which is SOAP UI. It's also a very popular um, API testing tool. It is um, you mostly used for functional testing, right? For SOAP and REST testing. It allows you to easily create um, and execute automated functional regression load tests, right? Then uh, coming to other tools like uh, Catalon Studio. Um, it is also a pretty new tool which is used for APIs but apart from APIs it also supports web desktop and mobile application testing so that's a pretty big advantage um, when it comes to Catalon Studio you can test your complete uh, family of applications right like API web desktop mobile so you can test almost everything using this tool now coming to uh, Tysentis Tosca it's again an automation tool. It's basically a UI automation tool, but it also supports API testing, right? So it allows any tester to rapidly create API tests from a business readable interface, right? So it has got a good UI and you can record and uh, it basically records and playbacks your uh, UI automation. So you can generate the UI automation without writing any scripts. Right, so the last one is REST Assured. Now, it's not basically a tool, you can say, but it's a Java-based library, which you can integrate with any automation framework, right, to test any RESTful web services. So these are the different tools uh, which are available in market and which are also very popular while testing your APIs. Now let's have a quick comparison between these two, these three popular tools, Postman, SOAP UI, and Catalon, right? So as you can see, uh, it's all these three tools supports REST API. 
when it comes to SOAP API, Postman doesn't support it, but Catalon and SOAP UI does. Test generation, all the three uh, supports test generation. Data-driven, um, Postman supports more formats uh, compared to Catalon and SOAP UI, right? Environments, so well, all these three tools support different environments, right? Test reports, um, all these three tools again support different kinds of test reports, right? Scripting language, right? So SOAP UI uses Groovy for its scripting, while Catalon and Postman use uh, JavaScript, okay? So maybe I forgot to add JavaScript here. Coming to license cost. So Postman, if you uh, look at, is quite cheap compared to Catalon and SOAP UI. Now, all of them also provide open source uh, kind of features, but if you want to go for enterprise edition or a pro professional edition, um, it will cost you more when, you, when it comes to SOAP UI and Catalon, but when it comes to Postman, it's quite cheap. So it's a big advantage. That's why it's so popular among the um, API developers and testers. Now, ease of use, right? So SOAP UI, uh, although it has a good UI and a good number of features, still it's not so easy to use when it comes to learning. Um, Catalon and Postman score over this feature over SOAP UI, right? So, so specifically, uh, specifically talking about Postman, it's quite easy to learn um, as I will show you in the videos. Now coming to the purpose, well, um, SOAP UI mostly uh, focuses on functional testing. Uh, Catalon is a full feature testing tool while Postman, uh, you can say it's exploratory and API automation, right? So, these are the different differences between uh, these three popular autom UI or uh, sorry API automation tools, right? And in the next sections, we'll be looking at the Postman tool, how you can set it up, and the different features of Postman tool.